for example, you notice we have a double angle. Uh, and referring back to page 416, uh, cos 2x has three different expansions. We want the one that only involves sine. So it's going to be 3 uh, sine x plus 3, uh, replacing cos 2x with 1 minus 2 sine squared x. and that's going to equal 2. Uh, the interval we're looking for our solutions on here is 0 to 2 pi. Uh, when you see it this way with the square brackets, that's just interval notation. Uh, next line we're going to distribute. So we get uh, 3 minus 6 sine squared x equals 2. Uh, rearrange everything, uh, we're going to get negative 6 sine squared x plus 3 sine x. Uh, when you're going to bring over the 2 on to the left side, it's going to be subtracted, so we're going to end up with plus 1 equals 0. Uh, you may want to multiply through everything by uh, negative 1 to get a, a positive leading coefficient, uh, which would be 6 sine squared x uh, minus 3 sine x minus 1 equals 0. If you try to factor this, you'll see that there are no factors, but it's still quadratic. So we are going to use the quadratic formula. Uh, so sine of x, which is like our variable here, is equal to negative b, so negative of negative 3 is 3, plus or minus b squared subtract 4. Uh, a and C all over uh, 2 times 6. So this ends up being equal to uh, sine of x is going to be 3 uh, plus or minus the square root of, it's going to be 9 uh, plus 24, which is going to be 33, all divided by 12. So what we're going to get when we do 3 plus root 33 divided by 12, or 3 minus, we're going to get the sine of x equals uh, 0 0.73. or the sine of x is going to equal uh, negative 0 0.23. Of course, the sine of x being equal to 0 0.73 uh, would be an angle up in the top two quadrants where sine is positive. So if you do uh, x equals the inverse sine of 0 0.73, you get uh, angle x equaling uh, 0 0.82 radians which of course is in the first quadrant, something like that. So you get another one which is kind of the mirror image over here. So the other one is going to be pi minus that.
and pi minus uh, 0 0.82 is going to be equal to uh, 2.32 radians. Uh, this other one down here where sine is negative, it's going to be in the bottom two quadrants. So x is going to be equal to uh, the inverse sine of negative 0 0.23, which uh, when you do it, uh, you're actually going to end up with x being uh, 0 0.23 radians. Actually, it's going to be, I think it's probably going to give you negative there. So it's going to be like down here and down here. So this particular angle right here is going to be pi plus 0.23. And of course, that is going to be about 3.37 radians. And this one over here, when you go all the way around, is simply going to be uh, 0 0.23 radian short of 2 pi. So it's 2 pi minus 0 0.23. And remember that uh, 2 pi is like 6.28. minus 0 0.23, which will be equal to 6.05 radians. So your answers are, for all your solutions are uh, 0.82, uh, 2.32, uh, 3.37, and 6.05. That's it for the lesson for today.